This is Minecraft's Trails and Tales update featuring the brand new Cherry Blossom Biome. And this is me, still in 1.19. Oh my god, bro. Oh, hell no. Why, you may ask? Well, I'm on a quest. A quest to build a better Cherry Blossom Biome update. And I will not update my game until I have finished my biggest project yet. I have no idea where to start. Luckily, I have a plan. So I'm going to build a massive floating island on top a massive cherry blossom tree. Surrounded by it will be an island here, an island there, an island here, and another island right here. On top of those islands will be smaller cherry blossom trees, and surrounded by those islands will be two more islands. On top of those, there will be the old traditional Japanese styled houses. Now since we have the plan set up, it's time to get blocks for the floating islands. Now, we need to find a place to build this. I reckon around here seems good. So, I have a bunch of stone, grass, dirt, stone, a lot of stone, because, well, it's a massive floating island. You need a lot of stone. So, let's get to building. So I've finished a floating island, but it's a little pointy and it kind of looks like a pizza. What's the solution to this you may ask? Well somebody very wise once told me the best way to fix a problem is to hide it with other problems. That looks so much better. Now we have to build the massive cherry blossom tree in the middle island. And this is going to require thousands of thousands of different blocks. So we'll need a few different farms. The first one being a tree farm. So let's get to building. So I've used this farm for about 10 minutes, give or take, and look at these resources. So much, just from 10 minutes. So it's safe to say that this farm was a big investment of my time. So the next farm will be an automatic wool farm. And let's get to that. So the sheep farm is finally finished and why did no one tell me it was so hard to put these damn sheep in the machine? But doesn't matter, it's working now. With all the farms complete, it's time to move on to the grindy blocks, such as terracotta and glass. I think it's time to put these farms to some good use. So all of the blocks have been collected and for some reason collecting all that wool took me so long. I swear I AFK'd for many hours just to get a few stacks. But anyway, let's get started because I have a feeling this is going to take me a long time. So far, it looks like the tree has been sliced in half, although it looks like that, it still looks quite good. Finally, the tree is done and it looks absolutely amazing. Hold on a second, I just want to say I did not build this. This is a design by someone called Smash MC on Planet Minecraft, so shout out to him. Anyway, back to the video. The tree looks absolutely amazing. I am so happy with how it turned out. And uh, I think I accidentally created a parkour map. I'm not lying, you could actually use these leaves to parkour on. For the main cherry blossom island build, it's time to build the smaller cherry blossom trees on the remaining four islands. So I hopped onto creative and I built this and I think it looks pretty good and it kind of looks like a mini version of the big tree I made and yes I made this tree myself I did not copy it off the internet 
Oh, um, that? Oh, but that's nothing. Let me just, uh, just get, just get rid of that. So we're going to be using that tree design on all four of these islands. The plan is to fit as many as possible onto these islands to make it look like a busy forest. And I'm pretty sure I have enough materials. I just got to find them. They're all scattered across my world. The materials have been collected and now it's time to build more trees. So I haven't mentioned this in the video yet, but I'm using a mod called Lightmatica, and if you don't know what it is, it's basically like a blueprint for a Minecraft build. It's what I use for the big cherry blossom tree, and it's now what I'm using for the mini trees. Anyway, so far I reckon the trees are looking great, so let's carry on with building. So I have finished building all of these trees on the four remaining islands, although it's a bit empty. So I designed this, a mini mini tree. And I think you know what happens next. I decided to build more trees. So I have finished building all of the mini mini trees and I think that it looks great. So now we're going to build two more floating islands with the old traditional Japanese houses. So I went on a creative world and I spent a long time making two different houses. And you know what? I think they turned out decent. So here is the first house and I think it looks great. <laughs> and here is the second house and I think it looks even better. <laughs> All jokes aside, these actually suck. I am not a good Minecraft builder, but you know who are? The people on planet Minecraft. Oh my god guys, look, I can build now! I actually love how these buildings look. I mean, they have so much detail. Anyway, now we need to collect all these materials. The first couple being spruce, dark oak, and jungle. I have no idea how I haven't collected them yet. I'm up to well over day 780. Let's go and track them down. Yes, found the jungle. Now let's go and find Dark Oak. Dark Oak located. And of course, there was a jungle right next to it. Anyway, let's get what we came here for. Now we gotta find Spruce. Spruce has been located. So you may have noticed that I've been mostly focusing on collecting saplings. That's because I already have a wood farm and with enough saplings I'll have infinite wood. So the final wood I need is mangrove and that's a bit annoying because I have to mine it by hand. You see with the wood farm I built earlier this episode it will not work with certain types of wood. And sure the wood farm is great and honestly I'm not complaining but I'm slightly complaining. Doesn't matter though, let's go get some mangrove. Yes, finally, it has been located. I don't think I've actually been in here, like in survival before, and I gotta say, it looks pretty nice. And I guess it's time for another time lapse. So I've mined a few stacks of mangrove logs, and now let's use these saplings and put this wood farm to good use. Okay, so all the wood has been collected and halfway through I realized that dark oak does not work on my tree farm So painfully I mined it by hand now since the woods out of the way It's time to get all the stone the biggest source of stone. We need is deep slate wait wrong chest Um, no wait. Yeah, right here. There it is right here Luckily when I was mining out a slime chunk at the start of this world I had a lot of spare blocks now since all the deep slate has been collected We can go over to this now, this is an AFK stone farm. So basically what you do, you sit here, or if I can actually get in. So you sit in here and you just do a bit of mining. Normally I would have a haste beacon, but that's all the way back in the Badlands when I was mining terracotta. 
Also, if I just AFK this for a few minutes, I should have a lot of stone. Yep, I reckon that is plenty of stone. Now we have to make our way to the nether for two blocks. The first one being bone blocks. And just listen to this. Am I the only one that finds that kind of satisfying? Anyway, these are pretty easy to collect, so let me quickly collect them. With the bones collected now, we need quartz, and that's pretty easy. The quartz has been collected, and now it's time for the two final blocks. And with all of that out the way, let's start building these houses. And that is the first house complete. Now since the first house is complete, it's time to move on to the second and final house. Okay, and here is the final blocks of the roof placed. And I gotta say, this looks sick. So now it's time for the final details. So I have some bone meal and a bunch of different pink flowers. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go around. I'm just gonna spread them everywhere. So hopefully it looks really nice. So I've done that with just one island and wow. Okay, that is just a big difference. So let's still one with the rest. Okay, that looks great, way better than what it was before. Over the next hour, I started to add more details such as leaves, bamboo, and even a waterfall until I was finally done. Oh, what's that? You thought I'd update my game? <laughs> Not till next time.